Hello beautiful people, stupid game dev here once again. Well I'm not a real dev now, I'm just a hobbyist basically. But I still know what I'm doing most of the time I believe. Anyways, uh, in this tutorial we are going to create a small function called uh, like calculate traveled distance so basically it means like how like how long distance have your player character walked or ran in game it keeps calculating it so we're going to do that and here i'm going to show you i have quickly made this um this as you can see we have here you can see in kilometers, you can like, yeah, this is, you can see it in eight kilometers right now. So when we move, it starts calculating up and doesn't matter in where, in which direction I'm actually running or going, it's still going to calculate the distance I have been moving. And um, this is mm, like, yeah, uh, all right, yeah. And um, I can edit it and just show like one thing. A I can show you raw. Also, like it it keeps doing that. Just a second. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hook this up in the here. So now, sorry. All right. So now, as you can see here, I added this all raw. So it's gonna give me directly the amount. I am traveling. It might uh, like it might look different in here, and that is because I am not. And I have to do what I have to do is just quickly duplicate this from here into here. So now it shows zero, zero when we start, and it starts calculating. A lot, a lot. It, it's like centimeters. Yes, it, it's calculating. Anyway, so this is what we are going to be doing today, right now. So let's get started. I'm just gonna delete and everything except for this. Yes, I want to delete this too and the function. So now we have. I have just this is the moving and the mouse things all right so now we have here is um the empty empty um uh, yeah empty 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 grade basically so what i'm going to do is first i would if i want to convert like you know like convert the value to meters or kilometers you can do that without like the enumerations. I used enumerations so I can actually choose whether I saw it like or you know convert it, convert it into meters or kilometers. But let's not do that yet. So, basically, if you want to do it, okay, let's actually do it. So I have here enumeration which includes meters and kilometers, and we can just do it like right click, blueprints and enumeration. Then back to the player character blueprints. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function. Yes, I'm going to call this calculate travel distance. And you can make this either like pure or unpure. It doesn't really matter. Uh, like if you want to get the the, um, well, it still doesn't matter which one it is. I'm just going to make it impure for now. All right. So what do we need to need in here? First, I'm going to have to do two, uh, two variables. So I'm going to create one is going to be, I'm going to call this current location or not current. I mean, sorry, la uh, last cast, last location. Uh, it's gonna be a vector and then we need one more which is gonna be traveled distance and this is gonna be float all right so now 
what we need to do is we need to right click on the grid here and we need to get actor location and the actor is going to be self so i'm just going to quickly get here. sorry ah all right yes so um <clears throat> now we need to get get the last location and i believe it's enough if we minus this vector minus vector and we're gonna minus this from one another all right or then it's gonna be the other way around yes. other way and around i quite sure it's gonna be like this right now i'm just I'm just tired. <laughs> Anyways, um, then we are gonna need to. We need here a vector length. Length. We need vector length here, so we get the distance basically. And this is gonna be. And we're gonna get my travel distance or my hour. And we're gonna plus this float by float like that. And then we are gonna set travel distance next. And that's going to be the new travel distance. And after that, we are going to set the last location as our actor location. Not before, but after, because the order is from left to right. So we first have to get the difference in the distance before we set the new last location as our character location. And then I'm gonna add input out, I mean oh, output, not input. So I'm gonna call these as distance. And I'm just gonna connect this travel distance directly onto it. Boom, there we go. Um I'm not quite sure about this, but this makes sense can kind of because like no, I'm just gonna do it the other way around just in case. <laughs> yeah, again. Uh, event craft. So you can actually determine do you want to uh, do this calculation every frame or do you want to do it like every couple of frames, every couple of seconds, whenever. If you want to do it in every couple of seconds, you can just drag from the beginning play, for example, and just set timer. Set timer by function name, for example, and the function name is going to be this calculate direction is going to be looping and now we can choose how often do we do this because you depends on your how big your game is or something you don't want to overcrowd your event tick but like since that's the only thing we have doesn't really matter so we can just do calculate travel distance in here then also i'm gonna set these two I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna set them on in the event begin play. So now it's gonna print string from here. The distance and it's gonna, gonna make the duration to zero. So now we can see if this works or not. So I'm gonna hit play and I'll start moving and yes, it's actually working. Nice. And now if you want to well, basically, this is this is what the uh, the float value is going to be like. Um, but then, what we can do is we actually could make another function for this, like get traveled distance, and it's it's going to be pure. And now I'm going to add here input. I'm going to this was, I called it a uh, travel, not that one, uh, solver. Uh, yeah, distance solver. I'm going to call this solver or convert or something. I don't know. Output is going to be float. And I'm going to call this as return, return value. Whoa. So now what we can do, we have to do is just we need to get the travel distance. And we need to divide this. Um, but before we do that, we need to drag from the solver. I'm going to do select. 
actually I'm gonna add here quickly one more thing in the distance. I'm gonna add here a raw so we get the raw the an actual value as well. So boom there we go. Um, so we're gonna divide it with from an a here. Boom. And by raw it's gonna be like one divided by one so it's gonna basically be divided itself uh, or something. Wait, no, nope, I don't. No, nope, no, we are not. Um. Yes. Anyways, um. So for the meters, there's obviously one hundred centimeters in one meter, so it's gonna be one hundred. And in kilometers, it's one hundred thousand centimeters because it's like one hundred. That's meter, and then meters. There is 1000 meters in kilometers, so we have to add one, two, three more zeros. There we go. And now we can check if this works. So we need to do this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and now we get double distance and let's check in kilometers at first. I'm going to play and well, yeah, it basically, yeah, it now it actually works because it's, it's going so slow. Um, we can still learn to do something in here. Basically, I'm going to drag from the original value to text. And from the settings, I don't want grouping. And what I want to do in, in, in here, we can also actually do one more thing in here. I'm gonna drag from the solver pin here. I'm gonna promote to local variable. I'm gonna call this temp solver. And the reason why is because if I want to choose, wait, I'm just gonna quickly, here we go. I'm gonna call this as a distance solver. All right. So the reason is, so now I can also basically do when I want to append this because I want to add here an information. So now I can do it from when I just get this, I'm going to do select. If it's raw, it's going to be nothing. If it's meters, I'm going to add space and N and for kilometers, I'm going to do space and km kilometers like that all right um well, we st still want to one and one, 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 the same thing in here so it was like that so okay the first this is a meters and then we have an a the kilometers and obviously we're gonna add it's just plain raw here. All right, so for meters, uh, minimum fractional. No, we don't want any. We're not gonna do that. And that should do it for the meters. And the kilometers, how many fra... Okay, we want for the fractions, I want two. All right, so... I believe that should be good. All right, so oh, 0, oh, point, oh, oh. So as you can see, 10 meters, 20 meters, three meters, four meters, five meters. Oh, this is taking a little bit of time, but eight, nine, and now we have 100 meters basically, yes. And it seems to be working good and now I'm going to change the solver method method to meters and now it's going to give us plain meters. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 meters, 20 meters and so on. And last but not least we have, let's see if this raw actually works. Ah, oh, look. Yeah, it works. Um, all right, that's good. So this method works. So, 
yeah i mean i'm just i'm still gonna check when i set the timer if this works function name is calculate calculate let's do every one second and i'm gonna and just to check by the let's do meters so now it's gonna take oh wow well, okay all right so now it didn't work for some reason so i'm gonna, gonna do this i'm gonna do set set uh, i i believe it has to be pure function for that way to work i'm not certain but i believe so i'm gonna do by event in every one second i'm gonna do custom events i'm gonna calculate the distance so now it should yes 410 boom so yeah obviously it's it's gonna take a little bit time to do so to 14 26 31 yeah all right so yes obviously it works great all right um i don't think yeah i think that's all so i hope you enjoyed and you actually found this useful and i will see you next time bye bye